Good morning, Friday morning. We are at Airport Park in Waco, Texas. This is a COE park and it's definitely one that's kind of not out there a lot of people seem to know about. We found it through another content creator and decided to stop over here for the night and it is absolutely beautiful. You can see how I'm standing in our campsite right now and we have the lake right behind us. Yeah, $28 a night. You got 50 amp power and water dump station up on side here. Of course, we did have some pretty severe weather last night. Tornado warning, second night in a row that we were camped out in the bathhouse and riding storm out. We didn't uh, do too bad, a lot of limbs and everything down. We did take a little bit of damage to our camper, unfortunately, last night. As you can see here on our exhaust vent over the stove, uh, it broke, but just check out our view here. Lightning strikes by my window Hits my chest right in the morning Like a warning Could have slept here Welcome to the Waco Mammoth site. It's a National Historic Monument, site of several Colombian mammoths that they found. So we're gonna go and do this little tour, a few dollars to take us out, see the dig site. being explained is in the creek bed here behind us is where the original set of bones were found and then as they were backfilling from this building to fill in the hole they found more so two sets
So we are in the dig site shelter of the Waco Mammoth National Monument and you can see of course the kids are over here working on their junior ranger programs and the dig site back behind us over here. So it was mostly a juvenile herd. There's a western camel over here. There's a, a saber tooth tiger or what do they call it? Yeah, saber tooth cat is what they call it. What we hear of is a saber tooth tiger. But as we come around back over here there are several mammoths. They call it the nursing herd. There there's uh, a juvenile over here, there's an adult, uh, and then further down there's more juveniles. And there was Mammoth Q over here that they said was an adult male, which was kind of odd to be, you know, here with a nursing herd. But this is the second site. They said the initial site in the 70s was found out in the creek bed out here behind us. And the teenagers took it over to uh, the Baylor University and determined that it was a mammoth. And then they came back and started digging more and they found up into the teens of amounts of mammoths. So that really piqued the interest. And those because they were not fully fossilized were taken over and they're in storage at Baylor University. So as they started backfilling the hole to fill it in so it looked like a big giant hole in the ground from this site they started finding more mammoths. So the city of Waco made it a park in 2009 and then President Obama under the Antiquities Act took this over in 2015 and made it a national monument protected by the National Park Service. Even though it's still a joint venture between the city of Waco and Baylor University it is a national park site so there are plenty of other uh, mammoth digs around. Apparently they're finding more and more. But this is the largest concentration of juvenile or nursing herd Colombian mammoths in North America right here in Waco, Texas. To learn about, to learn learn about, about national parks, national national parks, parks and, monuments, and monuments, monuments to protect, to protect our, history, our history, our history, the fossils, the fossils in special places, in special places, places to leave no trace, leave leave no trace, trace to share with my family, to share with my family, family what I learned. What I learned to always be curious, to always be curious, to always uh, explore, to always explore, to always keep learning, to always keep learning, and to always eat my vegetables and brush my teeth. No. To always eat my vegetables and brush my teeth. <laughs> okay, there you go. Thank Still you. in Waco, Texas. There is one more stop that we have to make. That if you know me, you know my obsession with Dr. Pepper and the home is right here in Waco, Texas. 1885, the oldest soda manufacturer still in existence. And here we are. We're gonna be a pepper. It's Dr. Pepper Museum. Small store manufacturing company. We would mix up a batch and send it out to other drug stores. Well, you can see 
different Dr. Pepper logos and bottles, and bottles, different eras and bottles, and we just have tons and tons of laughs. Unlike Anheuser-Busch, that is the king of beers, Dr. Pepper is the king of beverages. That ain't got small but folks, so you know Dr. Pepper being the king of all beverages, there's nothing better. If you don't like Dr. Pepper, you just can't be normal. I'm a pepper, I'm a hero. So we are in the original vault from the 1800s. Now you can see here the brick still behind us. Some of it is encased here in glass. And it said in 1950s, I believe in 53, when the F5 tornado tore through down here, uh, all the employees piled into this vault for protection. And when they came out, when the tornado was over, they said the second floor of the building was gone and much of downtown Waco was completely leveled. But this vault set intact. Quite a way to protect Dr. Pepper. So admission to the Dr. Pepper Museum is $10 per person. But with that $10, it gets you through both of the buildings, all the levels. And you get this neat little thing here that gets you into the Dr. Pepper Fountain area where you can have a handmade Dr. Pepper for a dollar off of a float. So we're gonna get our Dr. Pepper now. All right, so we got our free handmade drinks. I got Dr. Pepper here. What did you get? Dr. Pepper. But we do have an oddball among us. Tell everybody what you got at the Dr. Pepper Museum and Factory as your free drink. We got root beer. Root beer. Come to it. You know that old saying, when in Rome? No. Or if it walks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, it's probably... I don't know. If it walks like a duck and it quacks like a duck, she'd probably tell you it was a cat. We're All right, we're finished up with the Dr. Pepper Museum, and there's one last stop that we have to make here before we head on to San Antonio, and that is going back over here to the bakery at the silos to get what we didn't get last night, get our yummy, yummy cupcakes. They say better be yummy because we're coming back over here and going to stand in line again for this. We have to fill out the form on what we want, so we're going to take care of this while we're in line. <laughs> 